From an almost empty field in remote South Australia, scientists are hoping these tiny devices will give them a much bigger insight into the skies above. It sees the whole sky, which is its real advantage. It sees from horizon to horizon. So anything above Australia, we're going to be able to see. From Peterborough, these crab-like antenna will eventually be able to track satellites and space junk, which race around the Earth at 10 times the speed of a bullet. Even the tiniest objects can destroy the crucial satellites that keep our communications, weather and navigation systems running. The system tracks the skies by catching the reflections of objects using FM radio transmissions, the same ones that you pick up in your car. The inspiration to harness this technology didn't come from defence or radar experts, but rather astrophysicists looking into the origins of our universe. Almost a decade ago, when scientists turned on the Murchison Widefield Array radio telescope in Western Australia, they realised their work was being hampered by space junk. Pretty quickly we found uh, signals that clearly weren't astronomical, and so we sought to separate them out. Um, and then actually we found that being able to track objects in space was quite useful practical application. So the benefits of passive radar are that you're, you're able to see um, all of the sky all of the time. Scientists are hoping to start building the world's biggest radio telescope, the Square Kilometre Array in WA, as early as this year. And they're looking forward to the next breakthrough that could bring. Jake Sturmer, ABC News.